Hi everyone, it's Leilani. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be working on another Project Life Spread for week 40 of 2023. So this week, as you can see, I've pulled out all of my autumnal cards and also photos. So this is definitely one of my most favorite times of the year to document. So I was really excited to get going with the October uh, Project Life spreads and to document all of the fun fall photos. So I have a lot more to come, but this was kind of the start of it here, bringing in um, October this week. So a lot of these cards are from, I think maybe um, in a creative bubble, maybe those bottom two, maybe the top one. And then also Ellie Studio uh, is the larger four by six card. It's kind of hard for me to tell where the cards are when they come from my stash. So these in particular, I did just pull out of my stash, but um, it was exciting to get to use some of these more fall themed cards for sure. So as far as my title card goes, I'm keeping it really simple. I did pull out some random alphas that were missing a lot of numbers and letters. They were super old, I think, from Citrus Twist. But I did manage to have the 4 and the 0 for 40. And I did want to bring in a little bit of that yellow because there's a few sprinkles of yellow throughout. And then I used my Sophie Alpha stamp from Citrus Twist uh, to spell out week. And then I'm adding all my dates. Now, I wanted the word week to be a little wonky but you can see that first e just went a little crazy but it's okay i'm gonna say that it was supposed to look like that i feel like the wonkiness really goes well with october spread so it works out good enough for me and we're keeping it that way so um as i get uh am working on this here i will kind of tell you about my photos and all of that good stuff so you'll notice here the sticker sheet i don't know that i use that many stickers from it maybe a couple but this is the monster mash uh sticker sheet the 12 by 12 sticker sheet from that collection and that's what I'm using for October daily this year so um yeah my week was so nice so this was kind of right before like pre-birthday week so I was getting into all of the birthday feels were starting to happen but I wasn't quite there yet so my birthday's on the 10th and this week ended on the 8th but it was such a nice week um really bringing in the all the October feels and everything from uh, ending camp there last week where we were in Camp BFF from the last couple days of September into the first of October. I really was so excited to fully uh, embrace all of the things that October brings. So with my photos, I do have a picture of some of the holiday decor that we have in the house. And also at the bottom, I baked some pumpkin bread, which was really nice. So I had a nice fall day doing that. I also uh, put on You've Got Mail, which was so fun and such a feel-good movie and I love putting on movies like that this time of year. I also have um, a couple pictures there with my friend Casey. I was able to meet up with her this week which was so nice so we have a selfie and also a picture of our coffee and drinks that we got while we were out and then of course the pictures at the bottom are of Penny. So um, I did not have a costume for her yet this year. I do have an idea for later in the month but um, this was a little cat hat kind of costume that I grabbed at Target so it hardly fit her head but I managed to pop it on and get a couple pictures of my Franken weenie so I thought that that was really cute and I had to put those in my project life as well so I did add on that too cute to spook um little banner there at the bottom from Monster Mash on uh, like in uh, a top of one of the pictures of Penny and I love those little banners from that collection and also I think I'm going to put one of the jack-o'-lanterns on the week card here eventually so I did do some journaling there on that top card that says autumn but the journaling that I did was really about how nice the weather had been and then I remembered that I had a screenshot of one of the most like fall weather days that we had so I thought you know what I'm going to get rid of that autumn card and then I'm going to actually use this striped card with the uh, screenshot of the weather which I kind of liked that more because I already had two other journaling cards where I could really tell all of the other weekly stories so I felt like this was better than having a third journaling card I thought adding on the screenshot of the weather was a little more interesting so I'm going to change that out really quick and then I will pop in uh, my journaling with those other two journaling 
journaling cards and that worked out perfectly. So um, yeah, it was so fun um, having all of these fall photos for this week. I've definitely been trying to really soak in the season, even with it only being a few days into October, but already now whenever I'm recording this, it's the 12th. So we're almost mid month. So it just goes by so quickly. So I'm really trying to soak in all of those um, small moments and, and of course big moments that will happen throughout the month. And as far as October Daily goes, I am working on October Daily um, over on Patreon. So if you're interested, I do have also all the October Daily videos available for both 2021 uh, and 2022 over there um, if you sign up. And you can see all of the process videos for this month. If you sign up at the $12 tier, you'll see all of that content. But if you don't want to, that's perfectly fine. At the end of the month or the beginning of November, I will, of course, share a flip through of my completed October daily over here and I've been sharing little sneak peeks um, of my pages on Instagram as well so make sure to follow me over there if you aren't so then just to add something to this card because I didn't really have journaling that I wanted to do I didn't need to write about the movie I just ended up using the same um, stamp set as I use for a week and I just spelt out fave and so I just popped that over on that card just to fill in that little bit of space there and then I'm pretty sure besides any finishing touches we are basically done with this spread so another short and sweet really easy um, project life spread but that's what I love most about this project I love that I can work on October daily and all of the big projects, all of the side projects, but I can still manage to get project life completed because I try to keep it simple and to the point each week. And it's so satisfying to look through these big project life albums when the year is over. So I hope that you enjoyed the process video. If you did, please give me a like and please also consider subscribing. And of course, I'll be back to chat very soon. So have a good one. I'll talk to you later. Bye y'all.